I'll show the apertures a bit later. Um, speaking of, the apertures which are the portals you can use as the vaulters. I was holding off on doing this a bit because I thought, well, they're a bit glitchy right now. A lot of stuff that they said in the patch notes um, does not currently apply. And yeah, Dark Green is another vaulters faction, by the way. First thing is, which I'll probably be able to show you, is that they are buildable on outposts. The patch notes say they should only be buildable on colonies, but they are buildable and functional on... Hello, sewers. On outposts. The difference is, that's an outpost. It doesn't have a bubble. That's a colony. It does have a bubble. Alright, keep exploring. Have a nice look around. Oh, I got relativistic markets already, so this is good. Let's see what I can get. Hi! Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Not what I intended. See, they love this. If it's that high on the meter, they love it. They'll be able to do all sorts... They'll give you all sorts of goodies. Um, let's do efficient shielding that locks a new ship. Actually, no. Core mining. Because the high pyramid gets will also give me a boost to the fids, certain fids that are on that planet. Heck yeah, I want that. Offer peace. What do you have? Are you, oh, you're not quite that happy with me. Um, I'll wait a bit for you. Sowers, I just met you. I can't do it quite yet. Yep, see? This planet I first colonized earlier has Hyperium, so that's plus one science per pop. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Aperture is usable and buildable on... Outposts. They're also usable... On, on any Valter faction that you have open borders with. I'll be able to show that to you in a bit, too. I think this is a cool thing. I hope they keep this. Because it just makes sense. Like, you have open borders? Sure, you can use their portals. That's great. I mean, if I was friends with somebody, I'd be like, Sure, you can use my science. That's, that's cool. You can just knock yourself out. Be careful, though. And... <laughs> okay, gonna... Call nice the art to get some science going, speaking of. Trying to play and talk at the same time. But yeah, the patch notes imply that's not quite intended either. They imply it's supposed to be specific to like that vault or faction that owns them. Okay, got the Arctic planets. Exploring my neighbor's places here. What's going on? Um Hmm, this system is just so good. Um, I'm actually going for the arid planet because I can do that. It's got all the production on it already. Not not that quite yet. And then I'll colonize the rest. That's a good one. I think I'm going to move my endless here to that. What was it called again? Hydrus. He's going there. I want to build it up nice and quick. I'm going to get those. And that's got another turn. I'll stick that on there in the meantime. Oops. Need more science. Let's go for approval. And then, the first unique tech. Look at this one. Adaptation centers. It's a unique... Well, it's tech's unique, but the building's unique. That's your basic first um, defense improvement. But you get plus five science per planet colonized on system. Now, that's why I let it wait for a bit. Because plus five science, yeah, that's great. But that's quite a big cost, especially early game when you don't have quite a whole lot of planets per system colonized. And come to think of it, that makes my usual choice of many planets per system kind of broken. But you know what? Who cares? I have fun with it. The point of games is to have fun. Now let's make some friends. Yay! Are you happy with me? You're still not quite happy with me. Um, any resources? Oh, you'll give me that. More dust is good. Oh, yes. I'll take that. Thank you. How about you, sowers? Oh, you like me too. Oh, you don't like me that much. What resources do you have? You've got nada. How about dust? Uh, your dust is lame. So, holding off a bit on the sowers, but wait. Blue vaulters. Can I do open borders yet? No, I have to be at peace with you for ten more turns. Good old vanilla peace. Medium jungle. Now I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to set that up right away because it's at my choke point. This is the Vaulter Apertures. 
As you can see, you cannot buy the improvement. It always takes three turns, no matter how much industry this system is churning out. Three turns. Which makes them pretty handy. Again, I'll reiterate from the previous video, this can be good for crossing your empire quickly. It can also be good for pretending you're the Zerg in StarCraft II and making a bunch of Nidus worms everywhere. Oh boy. Now, um, let's see if it'll let me do it. Okay, I don't have open borders yet, so it does not let me do the thing with the apertures. But I can also link their apertures to mine once I have open borders. Say I'm done exploring, I'll be like, well, let's go to Dill here, and then let's go to my homeworld. Pajam! I'll be at my homeworld. I don't know what Pajam was, so uh, I'm going to stick with that, though. Pajam! going to keep exploring in here now, though. I want to make sure I have a good look at what's going on in there. Especially because, well, we'll be attacking them later, along with the blue vaulters. Because you see, the vaulter factions, they're pretty powerful. They also like to backstab, so gotta get on top of that. One more thing with the apertures that's not quite right is that if you take over a system, you get to keep the aperture. Like, this is kinda... not so great. This leads to things like cravers warping around through them like crazy, and that is very scary. And I, I don't like that one as much as the open borders thing. I think an easy but appropriate fix would be to, um... Yeah, I'm getting the fleet upgrades first. You know, that, because that's gonna be plus one per person. Then I'll get that. Then I'll get these. Alright. Looks like a good combo. Basically the idea is planet improvements, survey moons, colonize, get bigger fleets with the new colonized planets, more food, more approval, more dust. But, uh, anyway, fi uh, quick fix for the um, apertures are kept on system takeovers. Just have them blow up on system takeover. Easy peasy. That eliminates one very, very broken thing, in my opinion. Let's see, you are going to turn out the clan ship real quick, I think. Then you're going to do the science and the approvals and all that stuff. Falters are best for military victories, I found, like expansion and supremacy. And uh, <laughs> expansion also has a really, really fun thing if you're kicking butt that I'll show you in a, you know, like a later vid. I'll definitely try to trigger it. It's hilarious. Anyway, and so it's good for, they're good for that because of their defense bonuses. They're also good for science, obviously. And they're not really good for economic. Like, they're okay, I guess, but they're not exceptional. Need to make more ships, though. Definitely have too few ships right now. Okay. I don't have open borders, so I'll be stuck in these bubbles. I don't have open borders yet, I mean. Oh, you're not that happy with me. Let's see. Oh, no. Nope, you don't like that. You still have no resources, so... Let's see what I can get from you guys. Three turns for you, and you are what? Oh, I can do it with you. Goody. Oh, hmm... They trust me enough to let me inside their defenses. I hope they know what that means. I know. Should I go for the tech or should I go for the hydro meal? Because the hydro meal is a growth boost. Oh boy. Can I do both? Let's see. Oh boy. Oh, not quite. Almost. I kind of prefer the tech, personally. Wait. Oh, um, can I pay you money? 50 dust? No. Oh, no, not quite. Darn, um, let's go for the tech. Tech is forever. Food can be gained through other means. 
Mm-hmm. Let's go for... Oh, you're done. Goody. Let's build you up now, because you're going to be a very nice science system when I'm done with you. Currently unhappy. How's my dust? Oh, that's good. Again, look at these numbers. 1552 becomes 2266, only at the cost of 7 dust per turn. That sounds like a hefty cost for dust, but it, it'll add up. I'll get it back, trust me. Especially since this is going to be built soon, then it'll end up happy. I'll get more dust. You gotta really watch that counter when you're playing Endless Difficulty. Anything harder than hard, I think. You gotta watch it. Oh, I can keep exploring with this guy. I just have to do it manually right now. And he's stuck. Let's see. Can I do... Oh, I do have the open borders with you. Okay, cool. So maybe I can show the thing now. Go back to Lasath. Let's do the thing. More colony ships. Let's rock on. And... Hero? Let's do the industry improvement before the food. As you notice, I start going down the more administrative branch with this hero. Because she's going to be the one that builds up all the systems. Wait, she? Um, she? His. He, he, it's a he. He. He will build up all the systems. And... Yeah. This one would be a especially good one because the two lava planets. I'm looking right now for systems I can use for fleet production later on. Currently, Echius looks amazing for that. Kuma would be pretty good. Elyon, also pretty good. I can also terraform a couple things down to lava planets to make it really good. Okay, let's do the thing. Let's go down to Yedix. And Pajam, did you see that? A little flash. That is the portal in action. Now it'll work like a wormhole. You'll use up all your remaining move going through it. But that's no big deal. You know, I just crossed an entire spiral arm. And let's see here. Um, what's it doing? Oh yes, diplomacy. You still don't really like me. I think I'm ahead of them in tech for the most part, which is part of the problem. The few techs they have, they don't really want to hand over. Um. Oh, that's it. They have Pollux and Gemini. Neat. Okay. Um, I do want peace with them. Otherwise, they'll just kind of declare war on me out of the blue. So I'll just take all of their money. That's right. And blue vaulters. I need to open borders with you yet, right? Yes, I do. Ooh. Proto-Orchid is good. Let's do... Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. Antimatter gives a lot of science. Got that tech now. Antimatter is anywhere? It's in Kuma, which I'm about to colonize. Hmm. I'm not excited about starting out on an Arctic planet, though. No food, no industry, no good. Let's go for a small Terran. I've got my moon surveys. Moon survey. Good stuff. Can potentially lead to good stuff anyway. Sometimes it's uh crap, nothing stuff. Setting my systems up for success. And do I have a moon in here? Yes, I do. I've got two moons. Goody. Two moons. Um moons in here, but not on anything I've colonized. How about you? Eh. Ooh, ooh. This is priority. I'm going to try to cover... I can buy it. Cool. I'm going to try to cover Kurha. Kurha. Yeah. Can I do it? Can I cover it with the influence bubble? Oh, not quite. Ooh, somebody else will have dibs on that. Bummer. Oh, wait. I didn't ask you to come home. Get back there. Back you go. I must have misclicked somewhere.